Welcome everybody to my first unboxing of 2021. Uh, if, you're, if you've been subscribed or you're new to the channel, I just want to say thank you. I'm at 500 subscribers. I'm trying to get to a thousand. And in case you're new and you haven't heard, you know, once I hit a thousand, I'm going to do a giveaway, which basically I'm going to allow uh, the winner to pick anything they want from Nike.com. And I will ship it to them. Um, so I'm trying to hit a thousand. So if you know people who might like my type of content, um, make sure you tell them to subscribe and to watch my videos. So with that being said, in the box is Nike's, I believe it's their first release of 2021 as far as um, soccer shoes, soccer boots. Um, so what is in this box is the Mbappe and LeBron James collaboration that they had, which I understand the collaboration, why they did it. Um, I feel what they want to do is try, try to lure Mbappe over to Liverpool. For those of you guys who don't know, LeBron James does have some ownership um, in Liverpool. And this is not the first time NBA players have done this. I believe Kevin Garnett had some ownership. I don't know if he still does in Chelsea. I mean, think about it. Soccer is the number one sport in the world and where to throw money in to get money back. I would definitely do it in a soccer club, especially in England, which is, you know, they're pretty big clubs that they're investing in. Um, so Nike just took over Liverpool, I think with the help of LeBron James um, and, and I feel they want to lure Mbappe there. Why? I don't know because, um, well, this is my theory. So if he's with PSG, they're already Nike, they're already are, you know, Jordan, but I feel they think he might slip away, away to Real Madrid and, uh, what company represents Real Madrid? It is Adidas. So I think maybe that's why they want to keep um, Mbappe and, you know, Nike, obviously, because that's his next destination, I would feel, is probably going to be Real Madrid with Zidane, who's, you know, French, the French, uh, who's French and coaches Real Madrid. So he could probably lure him away. But right away, let's take these. Let's go back to the unboxing. That's what we're here for. That's the most important thing. Um, but yeah, it's still a Mercurial Superfly Elite. It's the seven. It just says, um, I don't know if you can see this special edition. Blah blah blah. We've seen it many many times. Um, the important thing is what the boots look like. It got this little. I have. I don't know what this is. Look at this. But all over the box, there's K and M's. So. Killing Mbappe, and this, I feel like this is something with LeBron and Killing Mbappe on the front, but I cannot really, I cannot tell. So, but it's, yeah. So I think it's oh, okay. I'm pretty sure it's just this little logo that they have in the front, which is Mbappe's logo and then LeBron's logo. And I'm torn because I'm not a LeBron James fan. If you know, if you can, you probably can't see my back wall, but if you know me, then you know that I'm a huge Michael Jordan. Chicago Bulls fan, and a lot of people seem to think that LeBron James is the greatest. I don't know why, but that's another discussion. So let's go ahead and open up the box. Again, we have the logos again. The paper has the Kylian Mbappe. I guess this is gonna be his logo, his signature. And then we have the boots. This is what they look like in the box. Pretty cool. Oh, so one more thing I didn't see. They got this like little, I'll see, try to get a light. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but they got like a, a basketball court half on half, and then um, the, the soccer field, football field on the other half. That's pretty cool. And then here's the boot. Got a nice little, like an air bubble tag, keychain tag. And here's the boot. Pretty cool. I don't, I don't know. I don't think 
This is definitely something that you have to have in hand to appreciate it. This one has the Kylian Mbappe logo there on the back of it. Um, and then the boot is just this, what are the colors? Let's see what the official colors are. Black, flash, crimson. I feel like there's more to it, but maybe if you took a picture of it, I feel like it would reflect pretty cool, but I don't, I don't think the camera can pick it up. But basically it's just Kylian Mbappe's little logos all over. So think of like a Dior, a, um, a Louis Vuitton, a Gucci type thing where they have a logo. That's kind of what this reminds me of. And then on the, this area here, they have a LeBron James logo. I definitely don't think the camera's gonna pick that up. Which again, like I said, breaks my heart to, to wear these, but well, I ain't wearing nothing yet because I'm still not playing football, which hurts me to the core. Ah, see, and then here they have the LeBron James Lion logo. That's his been his signature. And then his logo on the back of the boot. Uh, good thing it's on my left foot, which is my weaker foot. <laughs> but I still use it. And then in the inside, they have that same logo that was on the box with a half soccer field, half basketball court. I love it. I love it in a sense because these are my, these are my two favorite sports. Um, so to me, I love the collaboration. There's probably a lot of people. There's probably a lot of people that... Um, don't understand why they do this um, but also they did it because they're friends quote unquote they've met each other a couple times um, they've conversed I don't know how unless Kylian Mbappe knows English or LeBron James knows French I don't know um, so and it's called the chosen two collaboration LeBron James is always considered a chosen one. Mbappe is young still, and he's achieved a lot, I guess you could say, winning the World Cup. Was he the main catalyst? I don't know. Um, I think he still has to win the Champions League. He still has to win league titles. But, I mean, World Cup is still, you know, pretty huge in itself, being, what was he, 19? Something like that. He's very, very young. Um, he, he has a good goal-scoring record, I would say, for PSG. Um... So I get it. They think they're trying to pass on that chosen one thing to him. And I think this is also the little push that they want, you know, because they're letting a lot of uh, their players leave or sign other places. So I feel they're putting all their money or putting all their eggs in one basket with Mbappe, probably Sancho. Um, I mean, they still have Ronaldo, so they let go of Neymar, so... Um, I feel that's what Nike's doing here. Um, and maybe this will bring over some fans who, you know, I don't know if a lot of basketball fans will know who Kylian Mbappe is here in the States, you know, unless you watch soccer. Uh, but so they did make a LeBron James shoe, similar colors that sold out instantly. These did sell out as well. Um, so yeah, um, the... The collab makes sense as far as, you know, advertising, marketing, stuff like that. Do people care about having LeBron, LeBron James logo on a shoe? I'm going to say no. Um, but I like I like that it's a, a darker shoe because all his shoes mainly have been colorful, either white or the pink ones that last release. And those get dirty. These might not get dirty so fast, um, but the swooshes are interesting. It's a little texture to them, just like in the back of this. I don't think you can tell, but these logos, there's something there to them. I don't think it would affect um, play that much. Uh, but nonetheless, a good looking shoe. Um, so that was my unboxing of it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's my first one. I'm just hoping things can get back to normal sooner. We're already going to be approaching a year from when, you know, this pandemic really took over this virus took over our lives and you know we had to go on lockdown um i feel i'm hoping things get better so then it's a good release um for soccer boots and you know shoe enthusiasts like me um because you know when 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 the league shut down and stuff obviously you know that's that's money those the companies pay these players to wear 
certain boots and if they can't have them on the field you know how are they gonna uh, make sales and they probably hold back releases on us you know we do have the new mercurials coming out soon i believe in january so i'll be getting my hands on those but i know i only do nike because obviously that's where i work um but i just hope it's a it's a good year for all brands whether it's adidas um, puma you know uh new balance you know under armor anybody you know i just want a good year for soccer boots and hopefully this pandemic can get better the virus goes way sooner we get the vaccines whether you believe in it or not but also remember just keep wearing your mask be safe you made it to 2021 hopefully healthy and good and we'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching hit the like button subscribe if you're new we'll see you guys in the next one peace